and we're back to learning Inkscape. This time I'm going to show you the new pattern menu in version 1.3. So it works a little bit different now. Let me create a simple element, maybe a rectangle. Double click down here or just go to object, fill and stroke and you will get this menu. We are on the fill and I use the pattern right here. And then this new menu will pop up. Let me make it a bit bigger. We've got all patterns active right here. We can just pick a different category and as you can see all of these patterns are sorted. Let's get back to all patterns. Some of them can be recolored, some of them can't. And it's not just the black ones that can be recolored. You can see this blue one, it can. But this one for example, if you click on the color down here, nothing happens. So not all can be recolored, but most of them can. Let us pick maybe this one and you can use these sliders right here or just click edit on canvas and you've got three points or three nodes. First one is for position, this one is for scaling, you can see that on the right here for scale x, scale y and if you scale it and hold control x and y are connected so they scale up with the same degree. It's the same as this link icon right here. If you can't see this, just left click on the pattern and this should pop up. Final one, the circle is for orientation, so it's rotation. We've got an offset right here. So this is basically the position of the pattern yet again in X and Y. And the gap, you've got different tiles in your pattern and you can add a gap if you want to in X and Y. Let me recolor this a little bit. Maybe I use a reddish color, something like this. And when you're happy with what you've got, just close your window and the pattern is now applied to this object. On this I can use the new pattern menu in Inkscape 1.3. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.